welcome to your news at 11. Tonight's stories include the analyzation of Twitter disputes by world leaders, a water shortage in the biggest storm in decades, and departure of sanity from this world. But first, a human interest story surrounding Proposition 64. For more on this historic proposition, we go to Dr. Marley Baker. Really happy to be here. What can you tell us about Prop 64 and the history that goes behind it? No one was using the dope between the 5th and the 19th century, a totally dank throughout period of time. So we can jump to the 20th century as ganja production skyrocketed, likely as a direct correlation of advocates like Rachel Carson. You know, I, I really don't think that was the intent of Carson. Are you denying that President Obama smoked weed? In the White House with Malia? Because if not, that's clearly how this country is finally woken up and baked. Legally, that is, with the passage of this great proposition. Oh, uh, you know what? Um, sorry, it looks like we're out of time and ready for our next interview. Don't do mokes, kids. Uh, Alex, our reporter in the field, suggests that the new proposition has brought about a complete revolution in the cattle industry. Cattle ranchers everywhere are using a new type of grass to feed their cows. For more, we go to Alex. Thanks, Bill. I'm here with a cattle farmer who claims she has totally reformed her method of raising cattle. Isn't that right, Jen? Yes, sir. I used to graze my cows on these here fields, but now I just feed them the bubonic chronic. The sticky icky is real good for farming. You know, the government rarely does anything right, ever, ever. But one thing they did do was legalizing this here herb. It's just like my great-grandpappy used to say, ain't nothing like a reefer-fed burger. And that is the truth. What is it? What's wrong? It's those goddamn teenagers again. You know, they're always trying to sneak in and take the pot that was meant for the cows. And I don't appreciate it. I'm coming for you. Well, there you have it, Bill. The cattle industry seems to be evolving, and like a man with a midlife crisis, pot is the solution. Thank you, Alex. Cattle is not the only industry embracing a new way of operating. For more, we go to our senior industrial pot expert, Jane. Thanks, Bill. I'm here outside a popular fast food chain where the impossible seems to be happening. Fast food hamburger places are now serving pure grass-fed beef, even those that previously fed their cows rats and corn sludge. It seems that the Scooby Doobies are very good for business. And maybe sanity can finally be restored to our big green world. And that's all I got. It's up to you, Bill. Here we go. Next, we go to Fred at a local college campus who is getting a feeling of what society thinks about these monumental changes. Thanks for that, Bill. And now for this at a local university campus library, where we're going to hear some student opinions about this Prop 64 and what's been going on in the cattle industry. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. What is your name? Lily. Thomas Bevington. Uh, Connor. I'm Matthew. I have class. Yeah. Do you know about weed? No, what about it? Yes. I can tell by your answer that you're confused. Confusion is common with marijuana users. How many times a week would you say you eat McDonald's right now? Uh, geez, like maybe once a year, honestly. Once a week a year? Would you also not know that they're serving pot now really? in the beef? They're putting pot in the food for the cows, and then the cows get slaughtered. Wow, that is insane. I wouldn't believe that. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it? Oh, not at all. This is the news. Of course it's not. <laughs> Have you heard about uh, new grass-fed beef alternatives? It's kind of like a new thing that McDonald's is doing. Instead of feeding them sludge and just packing them like with like awful, disgusting things, the poor cattle and chickens, they're feeding them pot. Pot? Marijuana. No way. I don't believe it. Have you not heard about this? Well, I mean, you don't eat fast food. Yeah. So you're not like in tune on the industry. I'm just saying it's believable. Eat weed and 
be full. It's actually a new thing that science is doing. These cows, they can process the THC. They get a little bit buzzed. Then they have the munchies. Um, makes sense. Do you want I don't believe you. Okay. The thing is, do you believe in the negative repercussions of marijuana? You know, I think that uh, some of the negative repercussions are somewhat of a myth. I'm certainly no medical expert, but I think it can have uh, a lot of benefits, specifically with people with PTSD and who have sort of traumatic experience. There can be a lot of benefits there. But definitely the conservative agenda has, uh, has meant that there's been a lot of fake news on this and a lot of fake uh, stories being put on the, um, the, negative benef the negative components of marijuana. And we hate fake news marijuana the chronic okay <laughs> the dumb pot okay dumbo's little friend <laughs> okay my dad <laughs> thanks fred our next story a piece of coal in the shape of a middle finger appointed to the head of the environmental protection agency Hey, Zev, I think we're going to have to take uh, another take of that one. The audio wasn't rolling over here. You fucking me? What the fuck? Hey. Okay. Where are you going? 